ComSec now with Tom Pachowski. How are things looking today, Tom? But not too bad. The futures are indicating that it will be up by uh, around 0.6 of a percent when trade gets underway later on this morning. So we are uh, not that long after the US Federal Reserve announced a, a widely anticipated interest rate decision. They have left rates on hold as widely expected as well uh, in the range of five and a quarter to five and a half percent. So uh, the press conference following the decision uh, was, I suppose, quite scripted. Um, US Fed Chairman uh, Jerome Powell stuck uh, to a, a narrative that is familiar to the markets. Uh, the fact that the US economy is doing quite well, still uh, a deal of uncertainty in the future. They are treading a narrow path in relation to trying to uh, keep interest rates at the right setting. So whilst they've left rates on hold, there is the spectre of a rate hike in the near to medium term. Markets have taken this in their stride. We're seeing uh, gains of uh, around 1.3% uh, for the NASDAQ. So it's the uh, sensitive to interest rate movements, technology stocks that are doing better than uh, the rest with the Nasdaq up 1.3%. Uh, elsewhere, uh, we had some softer readings on employment according to the ADP report. This is a private measure of jobs growth, Pete. So that's a factor that's just helped uh, take the pressure off interest rates. They're a little bit lower uh, this session, which has also helped the fortunes as far as stocks are concerned. Uh, today, we will have some earnings uh, from CSR, an annual general meeting from Star Entertainment Group. Uh, we've got trade balance figures to look at as well. So not much in the way of local events to keep investors uh, excited. But uh, as I said, that gain of 0.6% will be welcome. Uh, and the Aussie dollar has done a little bit better uh, overnight. It's off its uh, recent peak, um, having been closer to about 63.9 US cents at its best level. It's trading closer to 63.7 as we speak right now.